piggy cupcakes, fun to make and even more delicious to eat. To get started, what we need to do is cream some butter. Just want to get that nice and pale. Then reduce the speed of the mixer a little bit. Add about a third of the sugar and increase the speed. And then repeat. We want to whip the butter so it becomes nice and fluffy. And this will add some nice aeration into our sponge mixture. Add the last of our sugar. We'll beat that in. And now we can add an egg. Now that's nicely incorporated, we'll add the second egg. And beat that in. If you need to, just scrape down the sides. Just use my trusty scraper. And now I'll also add the vanilla. It's great. Now I'll add my flour. Let's get it all in there. And then on a really slow speed, we'll just get the flour incorporated. Otherwise, if we turn it to a high speed straight away, we'll have flour everywhere. So we can start increasing the speed, slowly but surely. I'll just scrape down the sides again, making sure all of the flour gets incorporated. Give it one more beat for about a minute. Perfect, now I'm ready to line my patty pan. I'm going to take these cute little pink spotty Multix patty cases and just line a half cup patty pan with each. There we go. And then we just want to fill each case about a third full. So if any are a little bit over full, just move some of the mixture around. It does puff up quite high. And we don't want our little patty pans to be much higher. We want a nice flat surface when we're decorating our cakes. Okay, we're gonna pop these in the oven. My cupcakes have baked until they're nicely golden. I've taken them onto a wire rack to cool and they're nice and cold now and ready to decorate. What I have here is a buttercream that I've made pink for my piggy cupcakes and I've just placed it into a Multics piping bag that I've fitted with a star nozzle. I'm going to pipe. Perfect. Now my little cupcakes are piped and I'm ready for the next step. What we'll do is take a marshmallow and some scissors and just cut the end off him. We'll shape that back into a little round, sit him on the bottom of the cupcake and grab two little silver cashews for his nose. Then with the other half of the marshmallow, we'll just cut it down the centre they're a bit sticky. And then place it just above for his ears. And then take a few little hearts and use them for eyes. Look, how cute is that? <laughs> Last one, perfectly pretty pink piggy cupcakes.